that having a chronic health condition can be quite stressful. Unlike a short-term condition, like a cold or flu, chronic health conditions last a long time. In fact, they may never go away. Um, and so as a result, people have to learn to adapt to them. A person with a chronic health condition may have difficulty performing tasks that used to come quite easy to them. Simple things like getting dressed or going to the bathroom can take a long time, which can be incredibly frustrating. Uh, when we think about chronic illnesses, um, you can also face challenges related to your relationships. Um, a person with a chronic illness may not have friends and family who understand what they're going through, or they may feel as though they're helpless because they don't know how to alleviate their loved one's symptoms. Having a chronic condition can also make it difficult to work. You might have to adjust the way that you work in order to accommodate your new symptoms. Um, and if you can't work for some reason, that can be even more stressful um, as you may experience financial difficulties. Black patients with chronic health conditions often face additional stressors. Um, access to care is often a barrier for Black patients who are far more likely to be without health insurance coverage than whites. We also know that Black patients tend to have more mistrust of the medical system. And a lot of this is related to past mistreatment um, through healthcare organizations. Black patients often reference the Tzatziki syphilis study as an example of mistreatment by the healthcare system. And we know that people who report more medical distrust are less likely to seek care and are less likely to adhere to medication regimens. We also know that Black patients report more racism and discrimination than whites do. And this racism can actually be a stressor itself. We know that experiencing racism can damage the body by triggering the release of stress hormones in the body and also by contributing to chronic inflammation. And this can further damage a body that's already been impacted by chronic disease. There are many things that you can do to cope with chronic disease. Many people find comfort in support groups, which are gatherings for people who may have the same physical health condition. In support groups, people can come together and talk about their experiences and find new ways to cope. Uh, people also find that individual counseling can help um, by working with a mental health provider. You can often talk one-on-one -on -one about things that might be more difficult to talk about in a group setting. Additionally, we know that um, family or couples counseling can also help um, as it may help your loved ones learn to adjust with your chronic health condition and help you to learn to talk to your loved ones about your condition. Finally, simple activities like eating well and getting more physical exercise can also help cope with stress. Many people also find that meditation helps. What's most important when you're feeling stress associated with a chronic disease is to remember that you're not alone. It's important to recognize that you're experiencing stress and to seek help as soon as possible.